Welcome students. Right now I am sitting with uh, one more bright student of our institute, IELTS DK Global Pehwa and we are going to record a complete mock speaking session to help you all to know better about IELTS speaking, how the part 1, part 2, part 3 goes in the real time IELTS exam. So without taking any time, I am uh, jumping into the into this uh, uh, into the this recording of complete mock speaking session so let us start this how are you uh, thank you for asking i am fantastic what's your name my full name is ravleen gurchandok but you can call me by my first name ravleen where are you from uh, i hail from pehova uh, which is located in uh, haryana and uh, uh, it is a beautiful town and i love my town Currently, are you a student or working? Uh, currently, I am a student and I am uh, working on my uh, communication skills and I have recently passed my senior secondary education from Tagore Public School, Pihova. Okay. And how do you spend your free time? Uh, Often, uh, in my laser time, I love doing art and craft. Uh, uh, such as I love doing string art which is done with help of uh, knees and nails and thread and I also love doing uh, or making portraits so uh, not only this I spend my laser time listening to music okay I'm taking some questions on the topic of pets and animals like what's your favorite animal and why my favorite animal is dog as we all know that dogs are the most uh, loyal animal uh, on the earth so this is the reason why i love dogs and uh, they are so much cute like for example pomerian is the dog which is very cute so i love these kinds of dog what is the most popular animal in your country uh, the most popular animal i think uh, are cats and dogs because mostly people like uh, keeping them as pets and uh, uh, even in my neighbors mo uh, most of the neighborhood have kept pets like dogs and cats have you ever had a pet before uh, to uh, frankly speaking uh, pets are not allowed in my house so i have never kept a pet like dog or uh, cat where do you prefer to keep your pet indoors or outdoors uh, as i early told that uh, pets have, are not allowed in my house so i've never kept a pet okay now i'm taking the topic of headphones do you use headphones uh, yes i regularly use headphones as i listen to podcast and also i do uh, listening practice so i often use headphones what type of headphones do you use uh, I use airports of iPhone and uh, uh, this is because only uh, airports can be um, put on uh, iPhones. When would you use headphones? Uh, when I uh, when I listen to listening topic then I uh, use headphones. In what conditions you would not use headphones? Uh, uh, the condition in which I will not use headphones in, is when my ears will be paining or I am not feeling well. So that is the uh, that is the time I will not use a headphone. Okay, this is the end of your part one. Now I am taking you to part two, in which I would be giving you a cue card topic and a minute time to prepare on that and two minutes time to speak on that. And the topic that I am giving to you is. Describe a speech you gave or describe a talk you gave to a group of people. Your hints are when and to whom you gave the speech, what was the speech about, why you gave the speech, how did you feel about it. Now you have some time to prepare your answer.
the moment you feel ready you may start when I got opportunity uh, to deliver a speech so uh, uh, I used to study in Tagore public school uh, where uh, it was the day when common assembly was held so my teacher gave me topic uh, on animal cruelty to debate on so uh, I felt very nice that she had given me uh, a good topic to speak as I am philan uh, philanzoic so I have great love for animals and on that day I uh, I put my full potential to speak on that topic because from very uh, starting I, I wanted to uh, speak uh, against animal cruelty so uh, I started my speech uh, with an example of cows and sheep uh, how they are uh, slaughtered in slaughterhouses so I asked the people that um, asked the students and teachers and that how cruel are their people who uh, do misdeeds with these animals and um, even um, uh, the students who were uh, listening to me were uh, very emotional after listening this not only this i mentioned example of fish who are the most uh, uh, who are the speci species uh, who experience most of the cruelty and uh, they are kept uh, outside of water for long hours and they suffer uh, because of uh, because they are out of water and not only this i mentioned about the dog uh, i uh, gave a recent example that was of that time i gave example that uh, uh, how a german shepherd was raped by a man in absence of the house owner so uh, it is very shameful act that people nowadays uh, are doing so uh, at the end of my speech everyone clapped uh, very loudly because they felt the words that I said and um, even some children uh, were uh, some children's eye were filled with tears because they felt that uh, how uh, really uh, people are being um, very uh, very strict toward the animals so I think uh, in future uh, some uh, some children will pay attention to this uh, after listening to my debate so that was the topic which I uh, debated in my yesterday years. Okay, now I am taking you to part 3 where I will be asking you some follow up questions on the same topic. Like why do people get nervous when they speak in public? Uh, there can be various reasons why people get nervous when they speak in public. Uh, the first reason can be they can be introvert person who are not uh, uh, who are not uh, adjusted with uh, peop uh, other people so they uh, they get nervous whenever they get uh, opportunity to speak in front of people not only this uh, some people get nervous because uh, they can feel uncom uncomfortable in front of other so these are the reason why some people get nervous for example my uh, my friend is a, an introvert person so whenever she, uh, a te uh, my teacher asks her to speak in front of class she is not able to speak uh, in front of even class okay how can they improve their public speaking skills uh, i think teachers and parents can play a vital role in uh, encouraging students to speak in front of public like uh, parents can from uh, from starting uh, encourage uh, children to speak uh, in front of them and then they will open to other people and even teachers can force children to speak in front of other so they can build their confidence what different kinds of speeches or lectures have you attended in your life uh, i have attended many types of speeches and lessons uh, for, for example from my principal sir uh, often in my school uh, our principal sir used to give us lessons and uh, on uh, and di on different topics and even my teachers in our classroom used to uh, debate many type of speeches okay uh, why do you many people why do you think many people find it hard to give a talk to young children 
uh, I think uh, young children are not able to understand properly uh, about what they are going to explain them and uh, we can say they are notorious and they do not listen to other whenever they are told about something they feel that they are not saying correct only i am correct so this can be the reason why children do, do not listen to the why it is hard to explain uh, younger children uh, uh, so this can be the reason okay thank you so much this is the end of your final speaking and congratulations and best wishes for your real time ielts speaking thank you.